All right. I don't look like shit anymore. I got a haircut. And then I cut all the rest, too. So, now we are going to open the Pangu. I think it's Pangu. The Giant Optimus. And we're going to see if it's broken. And I'm just going to do it like this, because this format is really easy for me to just set up real fast. And y'all can look at my pretty face. All right, pretty. All right. See, I didn't even open it yet. All right, let's see here. I'm still worried about the front of the box being caved in. I'm not going to lie, that is not a good look. Right there, dude. Just like Gives me a nice handle. All right, looks like where it punched the hole was where this big empty spot was. Uh, I think I opened it backwards. I opened it backwards. All right. So it fell out. Uh, this fell out. This is the Pangu Toys Commander book. Ooh, there's a card. I'm going to look at the card. Hopefully you can't hear my furnace running. Oh, damn. Commander Advance gold foil card wasn't there like a thing that was like you could possibly get a card it was like a golden Megatron gun or something that you could get there's the instructions mine are torn so this must that's weird they're torn but that side of the box wasn't damaged I'm really confused. Like, that would almost make sense if this came out of that side of the box, but it didn't. Alright. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, you know. One of these days I'm going to buy me a real one of these. Here is his Megatron gun. As the this piece slides off. I have to look and see how it goes on. I think I know how it goes on, but we'll find out. It's so good. It's so big. All right. Now let's pop the tape on the styrofoam and see if I got a broken biggin. Oh my God, this dude is so big. That's what she said. All righty, boys. And girls and anybody else who's interested, it looks like I lucked out and he does not have a broken shoulder. Oh my god, I didn't. You know, they tell you how big something is, like, oh, it's this many inches, and you don't realize that, like, how big that really makes something until you get it in your hand. Holy shit. This dude is massive massive holy crap right. let me move other shit around like I just the only thing I have handy but uh, here's him here is siege it's so good I feel like I want to eat Tabi with it and I want to like dun 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 okay Holy crap. I am so impressed by this. I'm probably more impressed than I should be by this. Oh, and look at the gun. Oh. Oh, his gun is so big. I gotta stop saying it like that. I'm sorry. If I'm making you uncomfortable, get over it. The gun is so big. Oh, how does it look? Oh, you know what would be really sweet? It looks like... Okay, so the gun is tabbed on both sides. I was a little bit worried about that, because I know most of the MP stuff, they tab it on both sides. But other stuff sometimes doesn't. Does this do the extension thing that... No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. So the Megatron gun... It'll go in his hand. What, will his finger go in it? I don't think his finger's gonna go in it. But it'll go like, yeah, it's not gonna work. Like, it'll go in his hand. 
I know they did this with... I think it's my MP Soundwave? Again, I'm also not looking at any instructions. I think my MP Soundwave, you can... Like, the gun, the, the handle, like, extends a little bit so that you can actually do it in his hand. You can't really do it, because you have to, like, take that off. It doesn't lock into his hand at all, and then it's not long enough, like, the handle itself isn't big enough. If they would have upscaled this just a bit more, I think it would have worked. But the way that is, it doesn't really work. I mean, it looks great. It looks really good, but it's not. With this. Oh, and he came with. Oh boy, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, boys and girls. That's what we're gonna do. Ah, shit. Oh, cause I'm so professional, I'm just gonna drop things and then bend down. There, come on. Cause that's what you do, right? There's probably a way you're supposed to put this. Again, I'm not looking at any instructions. I am just shoving things where they, I think they belong. God, I need to watch the things I say on the internet. But you get what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, it's good enough. Doesn't want to lock in. I probably need to fiddle with his hand a little bit more, but there's his ax. It falls apart. I'll pick it up later. All right, what else we got? What else we got? We got... I don't know what this is. I think it... Is it metal? I don't know if this is metal. It might be. No. Go ahead and put that back in that bag because I don't know what the hell that is. So there's his normal head. Oh, that's cool. Here is the Okay, I'm already seeing a problem here. So here's the battle damaged head. Are his side fins supposed to be twisted back into like like that doesn't and we're gonna go with it but that's his battle damage face looks pretty good I probably don't have any batteries for this oh and just because of that one time thing he comes with a star scream head why would you buy this toy and put star screams head on it this is like a massive, like, this is Optimus Prime. Like, the biggest one I've ever, I'm not going to say the biggest one I've ever seen, because I've seen bigger ones. I've seen bigger. <laughs> but why would I, no, I'm not too sure. And then, oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, that's the little, mat. oh, okay, that's the little power module. For the Matrix. The Matrix. Which I assume is probably very easy to figure out where that goes. Because like all of them. Wait, what the hell? So. There's no pin. Like, I know where it goes. It goes right here, just like every other Optimus Prime goes in his chest. When I flip this open... There's like half a pin on that side. There is no pin on that side. So, the pin doesn't go all the way through. I, I didn't even think it was there. That side has no pin whatsoever. I don't really care. I could see where some people would care. But that's, that's not cool. I mean, okay. Let's be honest. This is a giant oversized KO of a really good 
masterpiece scale version of a third party legend scale Optimus Prime. Because <laughs> this is basically the even bigger Magic Square Optimus Prime, which is in itself a bigger version of its own Optimus Prime. Oh, he looks so good. He is heavy. Like, he's... I mean, I'm holding him on one hand. But all the weight is on the bottom. Like, these legs... I can feel... There's There's got to be some die cast or something in here. Um, because I can definitely feel the weight in the legs. There's definitely a lot of weight in the top. I think... I think that's just, like, that vacuum form chrome. And it cleans up so nice in the back. Some of the, like right here, you can tell, I mean, everything, all these things are basically injected, molded onto sprues, right? And then you cut them off, just like when you're doing a model kit. But companies are usually better at cleaning up these edges. Again, I knew what I was buying when I bought it. And for the price, I'm happy, uh, I'm almost having beyond happy with it. Because, I mean, this thing's only, what, like 80 bucks or something? I don't remember. I will say there's a, there's an awful lot of flash, flashing or sprue marks, whatever. I'm going to call it sprue marks. There's an awful lot of that on here. But, overall, I'm not going to sit here and transform him because I need a table for that. And that big shit back there is in the way. And there's a bunch of stuff over here in the way because I'm... Setting up my new label printer to print off, or to print labels to mail some stuff to some people. So, it's a mess over here right now. Stuff I've been meaning to mail off for a month, longer than a month. Those of you, you know who you are and I'm sorry. I do like this. I do, I do very much enjoy a big central display piece Optimus Prime. I don't have... I will probably do it once, but honestly, I don't really need to transform this. It, it's going to stand as Optimus Prime. I may not even use the gun. I mean, he might have his gun. He might not. He might just be in all of his glory just standing there. Very few things that I even own come close to bigger than him. So wait, here, perfect example. It's all like printed crap back there. Move. move, 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 move. So this is my version of the toy, my coloring of the vo the toy maker 3D, uh, like Mecha Gigan. Um, if you've ever seen the big Godzilla or any of the other stuff, you, he's huge. He's bigger. Get this. All right, so this is my little freeform kind of review. Um, I'm really glad it's not broken. Um, if I transform it, maybe I'll find out it is. I probably will do it once. Again, not doing it on camera. But this was my live, let's call it a live, unboxing of this. Oh, I found the pen. I just found... I, I just found... Yeah, it's metal. The steel pen that's supposed to go in there. So I'm going to have to fix it. At least I have the pen. So I'll put it in this baggie. I have no idea what the pink rod is. Let me look at the book. What the hell is this weird pink, just like square-ass rod? What does that do? Let's see if the instructions will tell us anything. Okay, done. Dun. Dun, 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 that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, here's the pen, here's the book. Oh. So it says, the kid, it calls this the energy core. I think this must have a magnet in it, and it's how you light up yeah, that's why. It's how you light up the Matrix, because the Matrix doesn't have a button, but it has this little electronic thing right there for the LED that goes in here. 
and this must have a magnet in it, and you take this and boop, and it lights up the, okay. That's really cool. So, do I think you need one? Yes, yes I do. I think every, I think everybody should should have at least one centerpiece Optimus Prime. If it's an MP, it's an MP. But what if it could be bigger? Later. So, and a little bit of an update. It actually does do the extension thing here. But I did not get 100% lucky with mine because I realized when I was messing with him a few minutes after the video, he's, you see this like green piece here? Yeah, there's supposed to be one on the other side. It's just not there. I can see where they put the glue there. But he does not have that part. So that's not a deal breaker for me. And I'm sure Sozy can just send me that little green square to shove in there. At least he's not broken. So I got hit with the... And you can see it in the pictures too. Like, There's definitely two of those green squares right there. Um, so I did not 100% luck out on a perfectly good version. I guess I'll email customer support. But that's okay, because Show Z will make it right, because they always do. Every time I've dealt with them, they've always made it right. So, okay. <laughs>